Previously, I've taken Mario, Carol, and Lauren prisoner. <gasps> the three captive celebrities spied on the rest of the house. I do like seeing them all suffer. <laughs> and Mark and the out there. <gasps> Such a selfish little bitch. And a big decision had to be made. You must choose whether Carol or Mario will be evicted. Carol. Oh, Carol. 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 Bastards! Tonight was not <gasps> a real eviction. Oh, shit. Tonight, Sophie's out. First to be evicted is Sophie. Yeah. I won't miss anything about her at all. She was a pain in the arse. And Carol's back. I'm going to nominate Courtney. The return of the bitch. And housemates nominate for the first time, fierce to fierce. Call me a bitch. He's also kind of an asshole. He is a moody git. He really let me down. I cannot understand his accent. He bitches. I'm not interested. They don't know how strong I am. He's over it. I don't want to leave this house. It's so freaking hard, Lauren. And if you weren't in this house, I'd freaking walk out of here. Fourteen nine fifty eight a.m. Housemates are waking up to what could be the final day for Bruce, Courtney, Lauren, Louis, or Sophie. Oh, oh, coffee again. There's no coffee yet. There's no tea. I'm gonna go back to bed. The housemates are unaware that Carol is secretly watching. I don't know if Bruce is going to survive another day without a cup of tea. Abs is alone in the flower garden. Vicky and Bruce are talking about tonight's eviction. You won't go, Bruce. I will. Why do you think that? <laughs> no, you want to. You can't leave me in here on my own. You'll be all right. I won't. I'll send you the postcard. <laughs> Oh, look at the desperation on Bruce's face. It's just desperate. Poor bloke. Charlotte is talking to Big Brother. Waking up in the house without Carol was crap because now, normally, you hear a big, loud fart come right from her bed and then a loud laugh afterwards. And then she'll say, that wasn't me. So it was less smelly and boring. Do you think Carol's missing you? No, it won't be. Carol will be at home with her fiance, sucking his willy. I know she will be. Eleven twenty-four a.m. Dustin is feeling low. You all right, mate? You all right? What's wrong? Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, you look down. I've never seen you looking so down. You I'm look just so I'm down. Just over really. it. Hey? I'm just over it. You what? I'm just over it. You're over it? Mm hmm. Oh, what's wrong? Dude, they're not even giving us basic food anymore. They've got to do. Where is it? Well, it's not here yet, but it'll come. Okay. Remember you were happy last night and I said you shouldn't be? Well, it's nice to be happy. What's got you down this morning? Nothing. I'm fine. You don't look it. Mm. I mean, I'm just fed up. I'm not in distress or anything. I'm not depressed. I'm just... I'm just over it. Blood. So. <sighs> Sh 
Charlotte has taken it upon herself to become Psychic Susan and Lauren's first in for a reading. Oh, I just had to cleanse you before you came in. Yes, OK. Cleansing is done now. Good. It um, smells nice in here. Yeah, that's the cleansization. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to place one of their socks on your hands. Special egg socks, are you sure? They help with the psychic energy. Okay. Now we're both going to place our hands on the crystal. <gasps> I got something. Mm. I don't know how to tell you this, but. I'm sensing that you're going to have a lot of sex when you come out of here. <laughs> Don't be sad. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for it. Uh, 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 I can't see it, but OK. And you can't because you're not psychic like me. No. Handsome. In what way? Striking figures. Mm -hmm. Tanned. Blue eyes. Oh my god. Dark hair. Mario. <gasps> oh my god. I just got the vision of a huge penis. <laughs> Maybe not Mario then. If we're getting Lauren's a bit of a prude. No. Oh. <gasps> Some of my words may alarm you. But the future's bright. Good. Twelve forty PM. Losing the shopman task has really got to Dustin. I'm just not gonna eat their shitty food. I don't care what they give. They can give all the stuff back. They could give the luxury budget. I'm not touching a a drop of it. You know I'm there, mate. I fasted for seven days. You just need fluids. Seven days, I could be out of here within seven days. If you take a dog and you try to teach him to do something, to perform, and every time he does, you beat him, he's not going to perform. He's just going to cower in the corner. It's just, we're the dogs. Mario's next to get the Psychic Susan treatment. <gasps> I'm feeling sorrow. Yeah? I feel deep sorrow coming from the heart. I feel like you've lost someone, someone close. Mm. And they've gone. Mm. She was a woman. She was. Creased face. Very nice, thanks, Chucky. Creased face? How hard have you begun there? Creased face. What can I say? Yes. <laughs> you Sophie is talking to Big Brother. Do you think that the house is missing Carol? Um, I think Charlotte is. Um... To be honest, at the moment we're missing food far more than missing anybody else. I'll be honest with you. Which food are you missing in particular? Um, tuna and salmon sashimi. The simple things. The things which you don't necessarily appreciate and you take for granted are missing. Um, I never want to see a bowl of rice ever again in my life. Quite simply. Never. Ever. Again. And I didn't come in here to lose weight. I've lost an inch off my waist. I'm just like, oh my god. So, I came in, you know, last thing I want to do is be walking out of here as a stick insect, um, which, if I stay in here for any longer, might actually begin to happen. One fourteen pm 
For today's task, the boys will take on the girls in three separate Maxi Muscle challenges. The first challenge sees Corey Couple, Vicky and Bruce go head to head in the Protein Shake Shakey Shake challenge. They must each stand on a vibrating plate and whoever holds their drinks the longest wins. Oh my God, come on Vic, come on Vic, come on Vic. <laughs> Don't drop it. Honestly, once you get through the burn, you'll be fine. Next thing that's it, bro. Good job, good job. Bruce, you're doing absolutely fantastic. Oh, Bruce, easy, easy, Bruce. Easy, Bruce. Oh, he's going, he's going. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Oh, no. I am a dagger. Come on, Bruce. No. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Oh, that's 1 0 to the girls. Oh, you like I know, mine are hurting. That's why I give him his foot was hurting. Oh, my God. They're Look at her. Powerhouse. For the second challenge, Essex boy Mario will be doing battle with Lauren in the paper bag punch out. Whoever punches their way out of their giant paper bag first is the winner. Punching Mario, you got to just punch your way out of the bag. Mario! What do you mean? Mario! Does Mario win? Yeah. Never mind, baby, it's fine. <laughs> With scores one apiece, everything rests on the final challenge as Dustin takes on Charlotte in the gunge dip. They've got to hold themselves up over a pit of gunge in a test of endurance. The winner will be the last man or woman holding on. Charlotte, you're never going to do it. Look at you. Don't listen to him. Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. Louis, don't be horrible. Leave her. Look at her. Look at her. That's it. Just stretch your back. That's brilliant. Because you're taking it on your back and your shoulders as well, not just your arms. Just knock out. Keep going, babe. Keep wobbling. You keep wobbling. Keep going. 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 Shoulders now. Go on, you've got shoulders like a swimmer. Just go for it. <laughs> 3.26pm. Bruce and Mario are playing catch. <sighs> Sophie is doing Lauren's makeup. Right now, Ooh. hang on, I'm going to stay well clear of that. Yeah. Who's Lauren going to look like, so? She's going to look like a gold, absolute golden goddess by the time I've finished. Hollywood. Um, I think goddess. we're going to go for more for Kate Blanchett. More oh, all right. Like, yeah. This is Big Brother. The storeroom is now open for housemates to collect this week's basic rations. Basic rations, eh? So this isn't like what we normally get, isn't it not? I don't know. 
Where's his tea there? Scalp coffee. Tea. Rice. Rice. Who's going to cook it? Mario can cook, can't he? I'm sure Sophie will have a go. Louis, coffee. Is there coffee? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Dusty. Yeah. Put a kettle on, mate. Oh, I don't, I don't want any. Cup of tea. I think it's every man for himself now. Dusty, I'm making you a cup of tea. What do you like? I don't want one. He doesn't want <laughs> He doesn't want anything. He's on hunger strike. What is this? This isn't coffee, is it, Bruce? It's rice, you idiot. Is this coffee? There's a clue on the packet. It says rice. Fucking hell. Is this coffee? Yeah. Oh. Two sugars. Two. Three. I, I, I can't say it enough times. I don't want any. Three sugars. It's an hunger strike. <laughs> 5 34 pm. Give me one. Oh my effing gosh. For winning today's task, the girls have been rewarded with a junk food feast. I need fried chicken. Oh, this is too much for us, like, we need to share it with the boys. I thought it was going to come out of your mouth, but I caught it. Do you know what, Big Brother? You're not as bad as I thought. <laughs> After not eating a bunch of stuff and then picking out on that, your stomach would be destroyed. Big Brother has some big news for Carol. Carol, as you know, your housemates think you've been evicted. Yeah. What they don't know is that tonight you'll dramatically re-enter the house and Big Brother has big plans for your return. Oh, shit. Carol. I don't like it when you say that. Big Brother is giving you a special power, a killer nomination. Oh. Tonight, you will make your surprise entrance and shortly afterwards, you will be asked to choose one housemate you want to face the next public vote. You must also give your reasons for this nomination. Again, I'm just spoiled for choice. Well, I think that's... Thank you. That'll be good. I'll be able to get my own back on somebody. How do you think your housemates will react? I, I honestly don't care what they think. I don't care. They probably hate me even more. Good. And then they'll probably all nominate me and then I'll be up against the person that I've chosen. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Jolly Japes, big brother. Jolly Japes. Eight twenty-two pm Preparations for tonight's eviction begin. Big brother. Now, one step closer to freedom. I don't think Sophie wants freedom. I think she'd give her right arm to stay now, especially she thinks I've gone. I don't want my time in the house to come to an end because I've loved every minute. But if the public feels it's my time to go, then I'll accept that too. I have a good feeling about tonight. Oh, a good friend. feeling. I feel so blessed to have gotten this um, you know beautiful uh, you know experience and journey and meeting all these amazing colorful housemates it's been a blast huh? all your clothes and then in the zip sides all your bikinis and stuff okay thank you so then oh that's it Courtney's just wandering around waiting for someone else to do all our shit for her what do you have to do to get out of here <laughs> My Big Brother experience has been mind-blowing, overwhelming, mind-bending and um, something that I will uh, remember for the rest of my life. He's a miserable, morose git. I want him to stay. I hope he doesn't go. I love him. Don't put her up for eviction again because she's got too many clothes. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. You're welcome. 
I really appreciate that. I would definitely want to stay as long as I can. If I was evicted, well, I'd, I'd take it on the chin. I got in the house. That is an achievement. I came from one little Walton family to this. I'm proud of myself. If this is it, then I have gone with my head up high. Could do with a bear now. Could be going home, Brucey. Could be. I don't want my time in the house to come to an end because I've enjoyed being with the people I'm with. I've got to know them. And I'd like to go all the way with them. It's been a hell of a ride. It's a way you look at it. I have absolutely loved it. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about myself and I've learned a lot about my human being, my fellow human beings. I've had a good time, thank you. Six minutes later. I'm going to have sugar. I'm going to have sugar. You don't know that. Well, you got booed and got saved before. Not that tonight, but the other night. Exactly. Okay. You don't know anything. Okay. You don't know anything. Let's go now. You would be. You would be. Don't cry, Soph. Needed. Mm -hmm. Started. Sit down. Yeah, you know, whoever stays here won't eat for the next fucking week anyway. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Yeah, Hello, Emma. Me. I can now reveal the housemate with the fewest votes and third to be evicted is Sophie. Yes. No, no, darling, it's fine. I'm absolutely over the moon that Sophie's gone. I love you. Sophie was nice to me. She was never mean to me. She shared a lot about herself, which everyone seems to find as a major fault. But everyone's got faults. Enjoy. Oh. Enjoy my love. Fuck it. I won't miss anything about her at all. And I don't think any of the other housemates will either. Bye, guys. Bye, 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 Bye so. She was a pain in the arse. Love you all. I feel sorry for Sophie. I didn't want her to leave to booze. I just hope that she's okay now and she's, she's out of here, so I uh, hope she's learned something from the experience. Woo. Oh my god. Oh, it's pantomime, kid. It's pantomime. <laughs> Ten twenty four PM. Big Brother has gathered housemates for a special surprise. There's a new housemate. Yes! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is Big Brother. I'm Will all so housemates gather on the sofas so immediately? Oh, my God. I miss you. Oh, God. Oh, I think it's a familiar face. Oh, God. 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 However, Carol wasn't evicted. Yes. She has been living in secret, watching your every move. Oh, my God. Again! I've been you were watching not there, no. every really single didn't. one of you. Oh, no. my God! I've been stuck in that room for three days. Poor thing. Oh. And I'm angry. <laughs> Big Brother has a very special job now for Carol. Oh Will Carol God. stand up? Oh, yes. Carol, you must now nominate one housemate to face the public vote, oh, giving your reasons why. God. OK, I'm going to nominate Courtney. I'm reluctant to do so because I know how much you want to see your husband. You did see him. But I'm really, really disappointed in the fact that you just could not get your head around the fact that you had the biggest treat in the whole house and you didn't want to pay for it and you wouldn't put the suit on. You did eventually but you didn't, and everyone lost the task. But also, last night when you evicted me, you said, we've never had a conversation. We have had a few conversations. But we've never really had a proper conversation, and yeah. we never will have a proper conversation as long as there are mirrors around. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say reason, today about your house? cover up the mirror, So girl. my nomination tonight is Courtney. Oh, my God! Yeah. Yeah. I've seen everything. Wow. Did you see my conversation with Sophie? Uh, maybe. I don't know. She was complaining about you quite a bit. Oh, I, I know. Well, she's out. So I know. Well, no, that wasn't my point. My point if was that I was tonight. saying nice things. Well, if she hadn't gone tonight, that yeah. first did, choice. No, yeah. We did miss you. Yeah. I missed you. You were my second choice. I thought there was going to be a double tonight. Yeah. Did everyone we think did. there was yeah, going to be a double? Yeah, we did. And the finale was the return of the bitch. <laughs> 10.38 p.m. Carol has been back in the house for 13 minutes. <laughs> I'm so glad no, that you didn't... The crew is back. I'm so glad. You can't understand oh. how, uh, how happy I am. The crew is back. Like, I'm so happy. Oh. I'm so glad to be back in here. The crew is back. The crew is back. Yeah! yeah. Courtney is in the diary room talking about being chosen as Carol's killer nomination. I think the reasons Carol gave um, were valid. I mean, you know, I, I am a glamour girl and, um, you know, every mirror I see I do look in, so I'm not going to deny that. Um, you know, and um, we have had conversations. I just wish that they would go deeper. And I think that now that she's back, we're going to cover up all of the mirrors in the house. <laughs> and hopefully um, before Friday, we'll have a one-on-one, -on -one, a deeper conversation. At the end of the day, this is a show. It's a game. You know, we're not really a family. We're not really, you know, <laughs> connected really in any way. It really doesn't bother me that right now she doesn't really want me in here. Courtney is on everyone's minds. But she was packing to, well, she was supposed to pack today. She didn't pack a thing. Uh, Everyone I else know. is packing, and she's going, I know. What about this one or this one? Well, the, everyone seems to love her. Everybody's doing everything for her, and no one should do anything for her. She should be forced to do it herself. I didn't do anything Even for Lauren her. started oh, doing her own packing. Yeah, you were doing it. She was lying in bed. I know. Do she was lying in bed, Lauren. I know. And Vicky is doing your packing. I didn't do anything for any of them. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. How does she get through life? 11.22pm. <laughs> 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 Big Brother has gathered the housemates for face-to-face -face nominations to decide who will join Courtney in facing the public vote. 
Carol's earlier nomination of Courtney means she won't nominate again. Louis, stand up, turn over your board <laughs> and give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons. My first nomination is Dustin. Um, the reason being that there's just really not much there for me. Um, his uh, sense of humour I don't really get and I find it quite boring. And the way that he always tries to analyse everything. So, <clears throat> yeah, Dustin because we just really don't have anything in common and I'm not interested. My second nomination is Vicky because when we did the Ibiza task the other day, if I'd wanted to choose somebody else, I could have chose Charlotte, who I feel as though I'm closer to in the house, but I didn't. I chose Vicky because she was the better dancer. And she she chose not to come to the party, and um, I think that there's a few people who would much prefer to come to it, and that's my reason. My first nomination is Charlotte. Um, I guess she is the least person I've really connected with in the house, um, and if anything, just sometimes the screams scare me when she screams. <laughs> my second nomination uh, is Bruce. He's nicking all of my tobacco at the moment. And um, if he doesn't get his tea and a drink in the evening, it can get a little bit uh, uncomfortable to be a brown bruise until he gets a, a stout. OK, my first nomination is Mario, because he called me a bitch. And he said that I was, what, stuck up and, and something else. Please don't here. And I cannot understand his accent, so it's hard to connect with him. My second nomination is Abs because he said I was superficial and I think he has prejudgments about me. <laughs> First nomination. I think the world of Dustin has been a great friend of mine, but this morning he really let me down with his attitude of blaming Big Brother for everything that's gone wrong in this house instead of blaming ourselves. So that's my first nomination. Lauren. I still think Lauren needs a lot of looking after by all of us. And we, she still worries me when she walks around on her, on her own without looking at her and making sure she doesn't fall over. I get really worried with Lauren. Yeah, my first nomination is Louis because um, I, he, he either has high moods or low moods. Um, and he, he bitches about too much for me. My next nomination is Bruce because... He just get. I just sometimes think he gets a bit impatient with me. I know, but we both, and that's one of my. That's my reasons. Um, yeah, and that's it. <clears throat> right, my first one is Dustin. Love you, bro. But same as Bruce, you, your mood, like your attitude today and your mood today, just brought me down. My second nomination is for Lauren for the same reason as Bruce. That oh, he's really gonna fall over. Um, like in the task room, when you fell over the same thing about five or six times in a row, but I think you're amazing. So, my first nomination is Louis. He's a great guy. He's uh, he can be sensitive and deep, but he's also kind of an asshole. So, uh, <laughs> I don't need much more of a reason. Well done, Dustin. Straight to the point, darling. Just how I like it. <laughs> My second nomination is Vicky because I love her. I think she always makes me laugh, but she did make fun of my intellect and having to like analyze everything that's that's been a subject that's been kind of sticking with me just because I think it's important to know the rules and focus on everything so I can't fault that my brain works that way sorry my first nomination is Dustin because sometimes there are no rhymes or reasons it's just meant to be fun my second nomination is Louie because although I find him very sweet, funny and endearing, he is a moody git. <laughs> My first nomination is Justin. You do overanalyze everything and you take it all a little bit too seriously when it is just a game. In Monopoly, if I lost and I didn't end up getting Park Lane, I wouldn't be like, fuck this, this is an ulterior motive. I'd just be like, well, someone got it before us and that's the end of it. My second nomination is Abs because I feel the same way as Abs. <laughs> I don't, I haven't got a no year as well That's as abs. everyone else has. This is Big Brother. <laughs> the housemates facing Friday's eviction are... Uh-oh. Courtney. Abs. Bruce. Dustin. Lauren, 
everyone. Oh my god, there's like everybody. Louis. And Vicky. Everybody! Oh my god. Except you. Face to face nominations are now over. Thank oh, you. Fucking old fuck. Uh, Pack my bag again. again. <laughs> Not gone. Oh, okay. 11 59 pm. Dustin and Bruce are taking a break. Are you so, happy now? I am thrilled. But you can't keep blaming these. I know how you feel. Yeah. Talked to you this morning about that. This is just the game. Exactly, you're getting it now. You think I didn't get it this morning? I think this morning you lost it. You think? I, well, you did. Did I? Yeah. Did I? Yeah, you did. Don't give me excuses now. I have done nothing to, to deserve to go home so far. Today, no, today I wanted to go home real bad. I know you did. So today, that was on me. Uh, <laughs> I say, ding dong. <laughs> I gotta accept responsibility for my actions. Lauren is in the divy room. I know that the housemates underestimate me so much. They don't know how strong I am. They don't know I can wear flat shoes. They don't know I can stop wearing heels. They don't know this part of me yet. They don't know I can stop using tissues everywhere. They, they know I, I can ch I'm changing. And I know that they're going to see a different side of me. Courtney wants to explain her nomination to Abs. Abs. Things on sugar. It's no thing. You all right? Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, man. Absolutely. Right? Nothing but love. It's all good, sweetheart. I understand. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Even at that moment, a connection is all good. Yeah. I'll take that with me. You know what I'm saying? You're I say strong that enough to take it. Oh, for so sure. That's, that's, that's the only reason. You're getting enough shit left, right, and center. So. Just, I didn't do it for like vicious it's, reasons. Trust yeah, me. Yeah. No, it's purely like, and like I hope that like, genuinely, like, to have the moments that we have had yeah. have been genuine with me. Yeah. It's been like, she's, she's, yeah. Yeah, I've managed to connect. I've been up every way, freaking so. eviction besides the first one, so. Sweet, you're getting, you're getting too much shit from everybody already. So, like. Do you think I am? I think you're getting a lot of stick. From people in the house? Yeah. I think you're getting a lot of stick from people and you're, you're, you're good, you're handling it very well. Thank you. So just... And I just don't want you to, I don't want you to feel like I'm two-faced or something. Nah, not, not at all. Nah, it's absolutely fine, I promise. It's absolutely fine. Same with Charlotte, I said it's all good, man. It's, it's what it is, you know what I'm saying? You've got to take the rough with the smooth, man. So I need a little bit of rough every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's no, needed. I think you can take it, that's all. Um, for sure, put it on me, man. I got it. <laughs> One thirty-one a.m. Mario, Carol, and Louis are talking about Courtney and her husband. I heard her say to somebody, I can't remember. I don't know if she was still there. And she said, um, "Well, when I saw him, it, I felt I, I didn't felt, know him. She was talking to I him. I felt really distant from I'm him. Sorry. And I hope he that he like doesn't. A yeah. Yeah. I hope he doesn't think that I don't Babe, love him. But literally, there was no. Hang on. When you did you not, not, did you not jump on him? When someone back. said that. No. Well, even when they said it, there was no. Did you not jump on him? Did you not jump on him? You come back. Give any of us one more. I'd come back and be a bit like. No, but even when they mentioned it, be upset. It doesn't. Be a bit like. No, but there was no. Apparently, he said to her, "What the fuck? You wear it." She went. Mm. So obviously she's not going to jump on him because she's not wearing nothing. Like, fuck off! If I walked into a room and if I've had one minute with Mark, he'd jump on him. I'll be all him. over him. Mm. Dustin is in the divy room. Everyone else thinks I take it too seriously, but it's not that it's. I understand the intent and the structure of this. I do, but it doesn't make it easier to go through it, and everyone has their different breaking points. I think it's funny because um, Bruce and I have gotten so close, and he was saved tonight, but he was up before I was for um, losing his cool with people. Uh, as far as other people were concerned, it was losing the cool, and uh, today was just my day. Other people have experienced it earlier on or... Yeah, or still have yet to experience it, but uh, everyone's everyone's gonna have their bad day. Bruce, he nominated me, but my bond with him is still strong. It's unshakable. Friends, especially great friends, can they're the ones who are supposed to tell you when you're being 
an idiot or and when you're being an ass or anything else. They're supposed to be the ones that pick you up when you're down. And uh, so it's tough. Abs is talking to Vicky. Know who I want to win? Who? Lauren. I do. That's who needs to win this shit. I, I want her to win. Fuck all this crazy celebrity madness. I really want her to win. I want everyone to just embrace her. And I think they are doing. Yeah, we've, we've all had a, a chance and a stab at it. And we've all done there and been there and seen things. And, you know, we've had our moment. Lauren ain't a shit. She's been like, wow. that brave soldier. She's gone through what she's gone through her, all her life. She's been a brave little soul, man. She's here now in this world. She's funny. Under all this pressure, you know what I mean? She's the most entertaining. Yeah, she keeping is. Keeping everybody's I'd, I'd bloody not be able to set my eyes off her if <laughs> I was at home. <laughs> See, what next? <laughs> And she can handle it, probably more than any of us. I love her. And that's what the world needs, you know what I'm saying? That's what the world Characters. needs to see, yeah. Like, real from the heart, people that are that, that, that beautiful, none of this pretend shit. Yeah. Man. Courtney and Lauren are discussing Courtney's husband. He means so much more to me than this freaking house. And I don't want to leave this house feeling so strong and so like independent that I can't depend on him anymore. I don't know if you get it. I don't know if you understand because you've never... I have. I have. Oh, I, I've been in love. But you never really experienced a man who like loves you, wants to be with you forever and wants to take care of you forever and won't let go. But that's... Won't let go. And I don't ever want him to let go. And I don't ever want him to feel like I want him to let go. So this is an experience is so hard but for me. But you also remember you've got your own identity to think about. I know. That's it's just it's just a balance. I'm trying to balance everything. I'm only 19 and I'm trying to balance everything. And it's hard. It's so freaking hard, Lauren. Mm -hmm. And if you weren't in this house, I'd freaking walk out of here. That's how much strength I, I draw from you. Oh. This week, Abs, Bruce, Courtney, Dustin, Lauren, Louie, and Vicky all face the public vote. Who steers, you decide. <laughs> <laughs>